Hello, uh, in this video, I would like to explain uh, insert, delete, and update uh, statements of uh, uh, SQL. Um, in the previous video, uh, we created a, a table employee in the schema uh, HR. So if you still have that, then we can use it. Otherwise, um, you can use this uh, uh, data definition language. I made it available uh, in the tutorial. Uh, file. So make let's make a copy of it. Okay, and go to your uh, database and then paste it. And then here we have uh, a data definition uh, for the HL dot employee. Okay, so let's uh, execute it. Okay, so we are uh, successfully uh, completed. So let's go to uh, tables and uh, refresh it. So now we have a uh, HL dot employee table available. Okay, um, but let me create a uh, one more query window so that we can uh, show you how to enter the data uh, and then also the update and delete them. All right, so um, let me show you uh, those uh, statements using uh, the statements available uh, in the tutorial. So let me make a copy of it. And then let me explain uh, one by one. Okay. So uh, to enter data, uh, what you need is a uh, insert a statement, insert into, and then a, a table name, HL dot employee. So obviously HL is a schema, and employee is a, uh, a table, and then uh, column names, employee ID, L name, F name and salary okay and then values and then after that you need to enter the values like this if you remember m pi d uh, has a data type integer so 101 um, and the l name f name uh, have, have a data type uh, and bar char uh, in that case you need to use a uh, single quote a single quote like this so a single quote is miss and single quote single quote and John, a uh, single quote, and comma, uh, 10,000. So if you uh, write it and then execute it, okay. and then um, one data, one data entry is done. So to check it, always we can use a uh, this one, select star uh, from HL employee. So let's take a look. So here we have uh, uh, one data. Uh, one uh, row in this table, 101 Smith John uh, 10,000. Also, you can uh, enter many data uh, points at the same time, uh, like this. So, same syntax insert into a uh, table name, table name, and the column names and the values. Okay? And then you can have uh, multiple entries like this, like 102 Johnson Paul 80,000. 103, Benson, Mary, uh, 11, uh, uh, 100, uh, 10, uh, and so on, okay? So let's execute it and see how it goes. So it's, uh, everything is now executed. So if you look at the data, so now we have uh, our four points of data. Okay, this is uh, how uh, you enter data using SQL insert a statement. Okay, um, another way of uh, entering the data uh, is using a graphical user interface. Um, so let's do that. So go to your database and tables, and then uh, your table uh, HL dot employee, and click the right mouse button, and you will find the uh, edit uh, top 200 rows. Okay, so let's click it. And then you will find a, uh, a graphical uh, table so that you can enter data um, over here. So let's do that. 105. Okay. And then you will find uh, some uh, a red dot. Uh, this will disappear after you enter the whole row. Okay. So how about let's enter some data. Okay. So you can do whatever you want. Okay. Now let's have one more. Uh, 106. Um, what name you want to enter? How about, well, Benson. 
okay and uh, a Steve uh, okay and uh, whatever salary okay so if you move uh, to the next cursor and then you, the red dot will disappear and uh, this data will be permanent in database uh, we call committed uh, so all these data points data entries are now committed uh, so let's take a look um, if you uh, execute the select star uh, from uh, hl.employee and then you will see and the data you just entered uh, by the way star means um, all the data uh, all the columns another way of uh, seeing the data you entered uh, is a uh, using graphical user interface so let's take a look at it so go back to your uh, go to your database and then find the employee um, HL dot employee uh, right mouse button and then select top 1000 rows okay so click it and then they will generate a uh, SQL code like a select and the column names and from um, the table name and then they will show you um, these uh, data you entered uh, by the way top 1000 meaning when you have a lot of data they show a maximum 1000 uh, data uh, points from employee uh, table okay so uh, by the way over here so this is a table name employee and HL is a schema name and uh, bkim uh, hyphen db is a database name so if you remember in uh, my previous uh, lecture note you probably uh, remember uh, in a database we can have many schemas in one schema we can have uh, uh, many employees okay all right so let's um, look at a uh, how to update the data okay so let me make a copy of uh, these uh, statements first and then uh, explain uh, how it works okay so I'll make a copy and go to the SQL server and then paste it okay all right so the uh, uh, syntax is actually pretty simple uh, here we have update okay and the set uh, to uh, specify the changes and then where uh, about the conditions uh, for uh, changes uh, to be made uh, so let's take a look at the data first uh, remember select star uh, from table name uh, will show you all the data uh, currently there so okay so here we have uh, 101 through all the way to 106 okay so how about uh, if we want to give a uh, ten thousand dollar raise for employee ID 101 so let's give uh, John Smith let's give a uh, John Smith a ten thousand raise okay to do that uh, we need a uh, update statement so update HL dot employee the table name uh, where the employee ID is 101 so John Smith employee ID 101 okay and then we give a uh, ten thousand dollar raise uh, to his uh, current salary so this salary is actually current salary which is a hundred thousand so you add a ten thousand to a hundred thousand so this will make a uh, hundred ten thousand and then we will assign this new value uh, to the uh, uh, as a new value to a uh, salary uh, column of uh, employee 101 uh, by the way uh, this operator uh, is called assignment assignment so left side of the assignment uh, operation is a column okay and the right side of the operation uh, is actual value so when you look at this uh, salary we actually evaluate the column of salary and uh, to a uh, hundred thousand so hundred thousand uh, dollars plus ten thousand dollars so that will make a hundred ten thousand dollars and then uh, we uh, assign uh, to the uh, column of uh, employee uh, 101 so salary okay so let's uh, uh, execute it and see how it goes so when you execute that so first you have to select only this one and execute it okay uh, let's take a look at what is the new value uh, for 101 okay so 101 now has a, a ten thousand dollar raise 
So his current salary now has become $110,000. As you can see over here, um, with, in the select statement, we use the where, uh, just like in the update statement. So after where, we can specify the condition like uh, employee ID or name or anything. Okay. How about next example? In the next example, uh, why don't we uh, give a 20% uh, raise? 20% raise uh, to uh, an employee one or two. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, the current value. So one or two has a uh, uh, currently making uh, $80,000. So let's give him a 20% uh, uh, raise. 20% raise. Okay, to do that, specify the uh, table name hl.employee where the, that shows the uh, condition for employee ID. So where employee ID is 102, okay? So current value, this salary uh, is showing the current value of $80,000. And then you multiply that by 1.2, uh, basically giving him or her a 20% raise, okay? And once you uh, uh, calculate the new value, we assign that uh, to a, uh, a salary column of employee ID 102, okay? So let's execute that and see how it goes. Okay, so it's successfully uh, updated. And then uh, let's use a select statement uh, where the employee ID is 102 and see what the value has become. So now the 102, Paul Johnson is making $96,000 $96, uh, from 80000 So he got a 20% raise. What a lucky guy. Um, another uh, uh, strong um, uh, point of update statement is they can actually update uh, uh, many rows, uh, many people's salary all at the same time. So how about this? Uh, we're going to give a 20% raise uh, for anybody, any employees making less than or equal to $100,000. Okay? So that can be more than one person. It can be a lot of people. So let's take a look at current data. So here we have uh, a 101 making more than 100,000, but 102, 104, and 105, and 106, uh, they are all making less than uh, or equal to $100,000. So this statement uh, basically give a uh, 102, 104, and 105, and 106 a 20% very generous raise. Okay. So let's do that. So when you update it, okay, so four rows are affected. And take a look uh, what the data looks like. So now, as you can see over here, um, so the uh, those people who used to make less than or equal to $100,000 now making 20% more. Okay, uh, now uh, let's look at how to delete the data. All right, so let's make a copy of uh, these uh, statements. Okay, so make a copy and go to uh, our statements. So let me clean the slate. Okay, uh, if you want to, you can always create a, a new query, um, whichever you want. Okay, and uh, paste it. All right, so this is what we have. So let's take a look at what's the, uh, uh, what data we have right now. So here we have a 101, 102, all the way to 106, and they have a lot of arrays uh, from a previous update statements. Okay, so uh, for whatever reasons, uh, I want to remove uh, employee 101. Okay, and to do that, we need a, uh, a delete uh, statement. So delete, and then you have to specify the conditions using where. Okay, so this one is saying uh, delete employee ID 101. Uh, uh, row the uh, data okay let's do that so when you execute it okay it's successfully done and then take a look at the data so one one is now gone so that's how it works um, like the update statement uh, delete uh, can also uh, uh, delete a uh, multiple uh, rows uh, as far as they satisfy the where condition okay so let's look at this what this statement does is uh, remove or delete all the employees 
uh, making or more than yeah, equal to hundred uh, ten thousand dollars okay so in this case um, so we have uh, people like one or two uh, one or three um, yeah those are the two guys making more than hundred thousand dollars so after we execute this one uh, those two guys will disappear so let's take a look all right so let's execute it okay and then take a look uh, so uh, as predicted uh, those guys are making more than or equal to hundred hundred ten thousand dollars now gone okay um, another a very convenient uh, statement you want to uh, remember is this delete uh, and the table name um, one of this is actually one of the uh, statement a lot of students are confused uh, 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 with um, this one does not this one does not uh, delete a table actually this one just delete the data uh, from the table so delete hl dot employee basically deletes all the data uh, in the employee table but employee table still there okay so let's do that so let's execute it so if you look at the data there should be none okay there's no data but let me uh, refresh these tables so still as you can see over here uh, hl employee hl dot employee e table are still there okay so in in this video uh, we uh, are talked about insert update and uh, delete uh, SQL statements all right thank you